my ducks. Might be a short vlog this one because Sandra's coming but just for um, a couple of days. Um, so I've also got to work one of the days as well, but I'm just gonna jump on a tram because I'm running a little bit late and then pick her up from the train station. We have got a trip tomorrow. So we're gonna go to Chesterfield in the morning and then in the afternoon we're gonna go to Bolsover Castle, which I've never been to. So yeah, enjoy the vlog. You almost didn't see me then. Mm -hmm. I said you almost didn't see me then. I know, because I was looking over there. <laughs> but my laundry were hanging up. I was <laughs> like, so we're just back now, aren't we? Yeah. We had some lunch in town, mm. which was nice. It started to rain though when we came out. Mm. And we've done a bit of shopping. I'm going to cook some dinner tonight. Mm. Uh, and yeah, forgive the, uh, the laundry. <laughs> So, Sandra is just putting her makeup on because she's going to do her first ever live stream. It's all very exciting. She's got the peace and quiet here to be able to do it and she's going to be talking about some decks that she's had a look at here that she has now been to get because she's been able to see them, hold them, take a close look at them. So, by the time you're seeing this, she would have done her live, but yeah, it's very exciting. No, it's horrible. She so just say, hi everyone, Sandra from oh. Spirit of Avalon. I can't do it, <laughs> can't do you it. You will once you're live, it's because I'm doing it. I've been hoping that I can do more lives, because as with my normal videos, it all depends. Um, so I don't like having lots of background noise, so I prefer to be on my own doing it, but it's not always possible, but uh, I will try to do lives in future from, from home. Oh, look at this, from the tower, it's a bit like the tree. So Sandra's first live has ended. Yes. How do you feel? Alright. <laughs> it went really well. 42 people in for first ever live. <laughs> and she was a natural. So okay. we'll we're just going you. to uh, watch. We're going to have some dinner. Oh, so I'm cooking sweet and sour chicken with some egg fried rice. And we're going to watch The Wicker Man. I got this for my birthday from my friend Jen. So cool. Jen Phoenix. So if you're watching Jen, we're about to watch it. So we've arrived in Chesterfield, the famous Crooked Spire. Um, it's a bit of a nightmare getting here, wasn't it? It was a bit, wasn't it? <laughs> Sat took me to a completely different place, but there you go, uh, the other side of the town. We're here now. First things first, we're going to grab a coffee and then we're going to go to Curious Goods. 
and yeah and then later head over to Bolsover Castle. Lovely thing about Chesterfield is there's loads of Tudor buildings everywhere so it's really nice for that. I'll try and show you some of them in a little while. It's market day today, on a Friday. Markets are a bit of a, a dying concept in the UK at the moment, so it's nice to see one, and quite a large one as well. So the shop that we're going to is called Curious Goods. I've shown it before on my channel, uh, but if this is your first time, uh, watching it then it is just down this little street here called the shambles it's quite famous it's a bit like the shambles in york where it's a very narrow street there's a very famous pub here that's rumored to have knights on the round table frequent it but it's never open <laughs> every time i've been it's this little tudor building here on the right hand side. That's so cool. Isn't it? Wouldn't it be great if it was open? It's called the Royal Oak, I think. Oh yeah, it says up there, the Royal Oak. Just say hot and cold food served all day. There's some alarm going off somewhere. And then just here, the purple shop, is the coolest shop in Chesterfield, in between Middle Shambles and Long Shambles. So we don't know where we are, we're wandering around. <laughs> Um, just exploring really so I did make some purchases from Curious Goods as did Sandra <laughs> probably show you what we bought um, when we get back to the Hermit's Cave uh, that's an unusual shape building I um, if David the owner the proprietor of the shop had been in there I'd have asked if we could film um, but it wasn't, so they don't usually allow you to unless you've got permission from the owner. But I'll probably put a link in below of where I've been to the shop before so you can see it. So this part of the town is the old Tudor part. I love these buildings with the black and white beams. It's like stepping back in, in time even though there's a Primark there. So we're going to check this place out for lunch. Apparently it's very nice. It's highly recommended. So we'll see. This is a lovely little old fashioned pub. Yep, that was a lovely little pub. Very quaint, oldie worldy. 
and food was really, really nice. Highly recommend if you're coming to Chesterfield. Okay, so after a bit of a <laughs> arduous journey trying to find somewhere <laughs> yeah. to park, nowhere, all the car parks around Bolsover Castle are full. So we've just parked at side of the road. It doesn't say you can't, so I'm hoping I'm hoping you can. Yeah, 4 p.m. is the closing time. We've got a couple of hours. So the views from up here apparently are spectacular. I've never been, even though it's only a 40 minute drive from home. So let's check out Bolsover Castle. Oh my goodness. the little castle which is called the party palace i think that's where the views are this is part of english heritage so it has the english heritage flag flying old creaky wooden steps not sure where the view viewing gallery is all these blocks Rafters. <laughs> you know, there's a bad look at the roof, the ceiling. We're in the ceiling, not. Oh, God. Imagine trying to stand on one of those beams like that. That high up. No. Like, look at the way the arches. It's like a tunnel going through.
get very windy. Shall we go in the uh, the little castle? Yeah. The stone steps are a bit steep. Okay. the panel in. Wow. So this palace is known as the party palace but they had sex parties in here. We just stood and saw the view. Yeah. Yeah. We went through here. This is the wall walk, yeah.
So, you ready for the war? Uh, yeah. weird feeling in here when my legs go wobbly, touching those chairs. It is like proper therapy at that moment. I know. It's beautiful. I'm sure what this is for, look at that. The ceiling in there. It's the heaven closet. Yeah. Over there is the Elysian closet. It's cool, isn't it? Well, that was cool. <laughs> Very cool, do you say? Very cool. Yeah. So we've got freaked out in one of the rooms, do you say? Yeah.
love these little turrets here. It makes it feel very medieval. So we've just left, we've just had a cup of tea, which was really nice. Yeah, Sandra's bought a dragon, <laughs> a cuddly toy dragon, really cute. <laughs> So we could, I don't know if I mentioned, we couldn't park um, anywhere up here. It's very busy. Derbyshire's on its half-term holiday. It's the only, I think one of the only counties it is. But just down here, outside the castle grounds, we parked at the side of the road. So I'm just hoping that I'm not being clamped or fined. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was fun. Glad I've been. It's only taken me 53 years to get here. <laughs> but it's well worth it, I enjoyed it. Church. Lots of hills in Derbyshire. It's quite known for it, really. There's my little pat pap. So far, so good. Needs a bit of a wash. So we just got back. Uh, not bad. We are home for four o'clock. It's just started to rain, so we we missed the weather. And yeah, four o'clock. So I said I'll show you the goodies that um, I bought. So I'll do that now. Okay. So uh, let's have a look at a few things I got. Firstly, some incense have to buy incense when you go there. I really like the Banjara. I've not tried this one before, which is the Mayan Myrrh. So um, these are really nice and they burn for quite a long period of time. They do give off quite a bit of smoke, but they're really fragrant. Um, also bought some more of the Banjara White Sage cones, which when I uh, burn these, I burn them in my little, um, as you can see, they just break down into ash. Um, and this is really nice. In fact, let's let's light one of these just to have some incense going. You'll see they do give off a lot of smoke, but really nice. that's taken properly if you saw my short where I was um, smoke cleansing a new deck this is what I used so just pop it in there okay so yeah these are really really nice it was the last ones in the shop um, I couldn't see them online anyway so I was uh, you know, you got one as well, didn't you, Sandra? Yeah. A packet to try. Yes, so to try them. I'll pop that out of the way a little bit because, like I say, it does give off a lot of smoke. And they weren't bad. I think these are around £2 each. Um, this was £2 as well. So, not bad on the incense front. Um, what else did you can show you? I got some two metre of this is nylon uh, cord for hanging pendants. I struggle with things like leather. Um, I can't wear metal of any sort around my neck because I get rashes. But this nylon is really, really strong, uh, but it's really soft and it's great. Uh, and it's quite hard to get. So I saw it in the shop, so I, I got three meters of it. It was a pound a meter, which is, which is nothing really. So yeah, I got some of that. I'm just gonna roll it up okay so that's that I'm going to be uh, inundated with smoke now and I might need to move it a bit further away um, I saw this stone it was quite funny actually this is um, peach selenite and it's a palm stone and oh, it's beautiful 
No, he still left the sticker on mine, <laughs> Sandra. Did he? Yeah, he polished Sandra's for her. No, he, he just wrapped it into his shoe. Oh, I thought you said, did, did, did you see him polishing his stone? No. And we never realised until I was at the till getting this that Sandra had bought one as well. But you can see the different, uh, look at all that in there, it's really beautiful. So yeah, nice peach selenite, palm stone, gorgeous. Put that there. And then I bought um, this, which is a Marnie stone. Um, and I just love the little write-up about this. So it's this stone and on one side, it's got um, the Buddha's eyes. And then on the other, it's the, I think it's Sanskrit for um, Om Mani Padmi Hum. Um, and you get the little incense sticks to put inside it. So it can either be used as a paperweight or you can put it on a, a dish or something and burn incense in it. It says, these Marni stones come from traditional Buddhist devout sites, often found alongside the rivers, rural roads, or close to temples. One side depicts the eyes of Buddha, a representation of wisdom and compassion. The other side shows the mantra Om Mani Padni Hum, which is the most widely used Buddhist mantra. Thus the stone can act as a reminder of the all-seeing eyes of Buddha on one side and the statement of love and compassion on the other side. For more practical uses, it contains a small hole for use as an incense holder, but it also makes it a cool hack stone, um, or it can be used as a paperweight. And, I just, and it was really reasonably priced. I think it was £7 for the whole uh, kit. So... I, I picked that up. I even thought the, the box was really, really nice as well. So I got that. And then for the incense sticks, I mean, like I, I need another incense holder, but I saw it and I said to Sandra, what do you think to this? And she's like, that's really nice. I can't get it out. <laughs> I can't get it out, literally. Um, and I'm going to get polystyrene going everywhere. Um, and she was like, it's really, there we go. She said, it's really nice. Then I was like, where will I put it? <laughs> but then I kind of think, well, get it and worry about where you're going to put it later. Um, and it's a beautiful goddess um, incense holder. It's quite heavy. Um, let's just take it out of its... Um, it's got like a bronze metal, although I do think it's uh, like a, a pot. Um, but yeah, I really like that. I just thought it was really nice. I love the the spiral here and then the, the goddess with the triple moon. Really lovely. And then you put your incense stick there and I'll find somewhere for it. <laughs> I won't have to worry about that. I'll find somewhere. So that's what I got. And then the other two things, I picked up these, which are Zena cards or Zena cards, depending on where you are in the world. Um, and it's card for extra sensory perception. Now I saw something very similar to this on Artisan Tarot's Facebook. Um, and there's some cool things you can do with it. Obviously it's for, it's like flashcards to try and see uh, with a friend whether you can guess the symbols or tune in and see the symbols um, but when I watched this Facebook video of their version of them I really liked some of the things that uh, they did so I thought I'll give this this a go um, just have a quick look on what you, what you get I'm not doing any walkthroughs today because this is part of a much longer video I just wanted to show you what I picked up Who is it even by? Uh, oh, it's by Los Carabeo. Um, 
So yeah, you've got your book here and then your cards, the basic cards with these, these symbols on them. Um, these are the backs. So I said to Sandra, we'll have a play around with this tonight. She was like, another test. <laughs> Uh, I did a training technique on Sandra last night to with a deck of cards, a deck of tarot cards to get her to choose her favourite when she couldn't decide. Um, and it's got different languages, look. Um, <laughs> she thought it was like a test, <laughs> even though it wasn't. So, yeah. And there's something else that I picked up today is the Sweet Foragers Tarot. Um, again... This has been out uh, not too long, I don't think. Um, it's one of Sam Rook, as she's called now. They're called now. Um, and I've got the Macabre Tarot, which I love. It's on my desk here in a little drawer at the side of me. Love the Macabre Tarot. Um, and this just felt really cute. It's Rose Petal Book, Rose Petal Box. That's a really cute little book, actually. Um, and then the cards are gorgeous. Look at these lime green edges with a purple back. I mean, what a combination. And again, really nice. Uh, very simple images. But yeah, I loved it. And the uh, macabre is a black and white with gold accents to it. And it's uh, either white on black or black on white. So this is a nice colour, colourful version of her artwork as well. And it wasn't expensive. I think it was about £16 by Rockpool. Love the colour combination. So that's what I bought. On with the vlog. So I haven't done any vlogging today because... Um, I've had to work. We left the house at half eight this morning. I have had to work today. Um, don't usually have to work Saturdays, but uh, it happens occasionally. And Sandra's entertained herself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, like, every street in Nottingham, I'm trying to find apartment. some. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go and have something to eat in town. We're going to Pandamami. Yeah. We've been there, I think you've been there once before, haven't you? I think twice have you so. right so um i think we went the night before we went to glastonbury didn't we yeah, last we year did. yeah. always a nice uh, restaurant food from around the world um it's actually that building there which is having a bit of a facelift at the moment it's got lots of scaffolding and stuff up but yeah so we're going to have some food probably watch a film when we get back we tend to choose a different film to watch each night and just enjoy the evening because Sandra goes back tomorrow can you believe it <laughs> it always goes by really really quick um, but yeah so we have to make the most of what what time we've got and because we weren't, weren't able to do much today we're doing that tonight so here we are amongst all this scaffolding. We're in here. It's dark. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. In a dark elevator. So we're here. Mm -hmm. We're back in the lift. How was your meal? It's very good. It's nice. Full up. Yeah, really full up. I love this ceiling. It's quite dark in here though, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> and this time we're going to open on this side. Yeah. Uh, I'm broken completely. 
She started it, so she couldn't live without him. So it's our last, our last day, our well, last morning. Sandra's train is this afternoon. So we've had a lay-in, yeah. haven't we? <laughs> and <laughs> it's naughty. We're going to go to Ice Nine and have some lunch in town uh, before Sandra's train this afternoon. She wasn't sure. They are still open. So we've come to a little, uh, little place in town called the Ugly Bread Bakery. Never been here before, but it comes highly recommended. We've been to Ice Nine. I bought a box, a wooden box. Of course, I bought a wooden box. Voila! Said box, hand carved. Beautiful. It's a circular box. Really like this. And I'm going to put my 1909 circular deck in this. So, train station is just there. So we got down here a little bit earlier. We're just sitting and having a coffee in this really nice Cafe Nero. Um, yeah, Sandra's train is in about an hour. So, let's have the final cuppa. Have you enjoyed your stay? I have. I always enjoy it. I always hate the vibe. She hates this bit. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and until the next one, go in peace.